Well, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. That's where I grew up. I lived there all the way through pretty much high school, although I moved to Montgomery for most of high school, which we refer to as a wasteland of the South, having come from Birmingham, not much to do. Um, and then I went to college at uh, Auburn University. Uh, I grew up an Alabama fan, but went to Tuscaloosa and hated it. Went to Auburn because a friend convinced me to and loved it. And so I went there and had a great time. Uh, my medical college was in uh, Mobile at the University of South Alabama, uh, there for four years, and then I stayed on and did my internship and residency uh, there. <coughs> I was a uh, chief medical resident there as well. Um, uh, finished my uh, internal medicine training uh, and internship and residency at uh, Mobile chief resident after that, and then I went to Boston where I did my pulmonary and critical care fellowship. Uh, at Brigham and Women's and uh, Beth Israel Hospital, part of the Harvard Medical School System. Um, we're there for three years. Uh, my wife got her master's degree there while we were there in exercise physiology. And uh, it was in the middle of winter and Mike Rawson, who's an intern is here, who was at Mobile for one year when I was in Mobile, called and asked if we might be interested in coming to Louisiana. It just worked out that we were ready to return to the South. We really did like the South a lot better than the Northeast, and so we ended up down here 27 years ago. Obviously, you know, most of the disease that we have now is really lifestyle diseases. It's diseases of the way we live, not in the 1900s you died mainly of infection or injuries. Well, now we're dying from diseases of lifestyle, whether it's smoking, being overweight, lack of exercise, you know, you know, I mean, our diet is really bad, you know. And so I've, you know, my kids both are, I had kids late in life, and they're both getting married later in life. So if I want to see my grandkids and even great-grandkids, obviously I need to stay healthy, and the way to do that is through lifestyle. So exercising regularly, eating really healthy. Um, I mean, I'm not a pure vegetarian, but I'm close. Um, and keeping your weight down. I mean, and I obviously don't smoke, you know. So those are the things I think that are the most important for us. Um, and, and the rewards for that is that, you know, hopefully when I'm 80, I'm going to be able to enjoy grandkids, great-grandkids, and be active and not be getting around really slowly. I think the clinic is a great place to work. I think it's one of the top jobs in the country, especially for certain, especially, I mean, internal medicine, this is a wonderful place and you'd be hard-pressed to find a better place to work. I think we do a really good job of getting high quality physicians in, and that's one of the most important thing to us is that the doctors we have are the best that we can find. Um, I'll tell you, I've been in healthcare in Boston, I've been in healthcare in Alabama. Uh, the healthcare in Baton Rouge is actually very sophisticated for a city and its size and I think a lot of it has to do with you know, the Baton Rouge Clinic as well as the other physicians in town. But, I think we really do try to drive it to be better than what you know, most people would expect for a town our size. I think you know, there's a lot of changes going on in healthcare right now and the biggest thing we're trying to do at this point in time is, is strategically plan to be able to be uh, a, a high quality deliverer of healthcare at low cost so that we can continue to provide great care to our patients and to the Baton Rouge community. But the amount of information that we now can get and receive is tremendously increased compared to what it used to be and it's trying to figure out how to handle that information, use it appropriately and in the long run is how to make the care for our patients as good as possible.